Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, let's get started on 24 hour temperature cast. Got some numbers in the low 60s. Going to find a few in the upper 50s. That's a little step in the right direction. Still way warmer than normal for the beginning of November. Yesterday we topped out at 86, so we weren't flirting with records. Hopefully we'll be something close today, so we'll keep those temperatures under control in the afternoon. It'll still be warm, but not like it was a little bit earlier this week when we were tying records. And I think overnight tonight into tomorrow, depending on some of the clouds and depending on the breeze, we've got another chance to see those numbers get back into the mid 60s, lower 60s, or even upper 50s. Now, there will be some clouds at times spilling into our skies, especially from the north and west. That's where this next boundary is. We'd love that boundary to get all the way here. Bring some rain chances, bring some cooler air, change everything up. But that boundary is going to struggle making it this far south and this far east. So we're likely going to be stuck in this same air mass for several more days. And that means our forecast is not going to change all that much for several more days. It's 59 in Thomasville. It's 61 in Tallahassee. It's 62 in Valdosta. So there's that 60 ish, you know, a couple degrees either side of 60. I see the dew point numbers a little bit lower today. Instead of being in the 60s, they're in the upper 50s. So that tells me a couple of things. The air is just a smidge drier than it was. And I think that allows these temperatures maybe to inch down another degree or two before all is said and done. So maybe we can get more widespread upper 50s this morning. There's that 59 again in Thomasville. How about a 59 to match it in Quincy? Blakely's the coolest spot at 57. Apalachicola is the warmest spot at 68. Perry's pretty close at 65. I see a 63 at Camilla and a 61 for Bainbridge. It's not going to be breezy today, but I do think from the east or northeast we'll have a little bit of a breeze and maybe this morning that can limit some fog that'll be trying to form. Places like Live Oak visibility is down to one quarter mile and Moultrie one and one quarter miles. Now here's that boundary lined up from like near New Orleans all the way up into northern parts of Alabama and eastern parts of Tennessee. Behind it, the air is much cooler, feeling a lot more like November back there. This boundary itself, though, is not going to be able to make a lot of progress down to the south and east. So what happens is we stay with this same air mass. All the cooler stuff stays to the north. And over the next three or four or five days, while we'd like that boundary to droop through the area, that's not this boundary. Instead, what likely happens is we continue with the same old forecast all the way into the early part of next week. Now the tropics, they're a little interesting at this time of the year, right? We see a whole bunch of areas where we've got some circulation, some color, especially like may up here in the northern Atlantic. We've got some showers out across way east near Africa. The spots that we're most interested in are going to be maybe the southern Bahamas and parts of the Caribbean, where it doesn't look like there's a lot going on just yet. All week long, we keep talking about how there's some potential for development. Well, we've got two areas now that we're watching. One, the one over there towards the Bahamas, we're talking like a 10% chance of development over the next week, so not much, but enough where it's raising an eyebrow. Then we've got this area, this big orange splotch that's for much of the Caribbean, and that's up to a 60% chance for some sort of development over the next week. It's up to a 30% chance over the next couple of days, so it's starting to show a few more signs of life, even if it doesn't look like much on the satellite presentation. We will keep watching it. There's nothing to be concerned with just yet. There's no guarantee anything's ever going to form there but we'll certainly keep our eyes on it. And if anything changes, we'll let you know. On the Gulf today, winds out of the east and northeast, 5 to 15, seas 1 to 3 feet. We'll put a little light chop in the protected waters. It's 50s and 60s this morning. We'll call it partly cloudy. Sunrise time is 7.52. Now, here's another one of many, many reminders. This coming Sunday morning is when we turn those clocks back. So the sunrise time will go from 7.52 to 6.52 or something close to it. So we'll have the sun up before 7 a.m. Today, it's going to be closer to 8 a.m. before the sun is officially up. We'll go mid 80s this afternoon, call it partly cloudy not an unpleasant day. I know we're expecting that fall feel where temperatures stop in the 70s, but we're not getting that not anytime soon. We're going to have these warmer than normal readings all the way into next week. And I think overnight tonight we'll keep it back near 60. Here's that extended forecast. You can certainly see those rain chances staying real slim. I think we'll have a mixture of clouds and clear over the next few days, and it does feel like the 60 85 split seems like where we're going to be this time of year. It probably could be the 50-75 split, but we are running quite a bit on the warmer side of normal.